Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Salesforce Space Station. In today's episode, Leah is gonna run you through how you can set up push notifications inside Salesforce. Now, if you like this content, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and keep up to date with all the other Salesforce tutorials we're gonna be posting. Salesforce Space Station. The business rationale of this content is to give you an idea that the Salesforce CRM platform has leveraged its notification feature not just through email or bell icon notification but on push notification on mobile as well. So let me show you how to automate post chatter with a push notification in Salesforce. So let me go to setup. From the quick find, just type in process or process builder. Click on process builder. So as you can see, I've already created a process and this process will run on the lead object and it will be triggered when a record is created or edited. Right? So you can put any condition or criteria that you want based on your business process. But in this case, I've set the criteria to rating equals to hot. And just don't forget to click on the advanced settings or advanced configuration settings. This is to prevent recursive processing. All right? Now you may now go ahead and click or create an immediate actions. So this is a post to chatter action. This will automatically post a chatter message and it will also mention the lead owner on the record where you have made the update. So may you, you may now also configure the appropriate personalized message in here. Just click save and just don't forget to activate your process. All right, now let's go ahead and test it. So I'll be switching to a different user. So this is a different user from the one that I used when I created a process builder. And now I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and open up a lead record. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna change or update the rating from warm to hot. Click save. So this will automatically trigger the automation that is configured to post a chatter message. All right, now let me go back to my account. So let's see if, if we receive the um, notification. So you can check it by clicking the notification bell button located on the upper right hand corner of your screen. All right, so it worked. So let me, sh let me also show you how it looks like to receive a mobile push notification on Salesforce Mobile. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this content. Thanks so much for watching. Hey guys, please don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe to the channel if you like it. Uh, also, please don't forget to go ahead and share this with uh, anyone that you think might benefit from it, especially all those brand new up-and-coming Salesforce gurus. And as always, you can find some more episodes right here.